Hi, happy morning everyone. Welcome to Meet Here YouTube channel. Today we are going to see again the five important MCQs for the exam of AIMS and JIPMA. We'll start with the today's quotes. We must all suffer one of two things. Either the pain of discipline or the pain of regret or disappointment. Number two, we will suffer one Discipline is the same as the discipline. The same as the discipline is the same as the discipline. So, which pain you are willing to take, that is, depends on the yourself. Okay? Let's start. So, first question. Who will be the first person to 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 be the first person. with the effects on secondary progressive ms that reduces relapse the question is asking about ms means multiple sclerosis okay so it is the only drug which affects the secondary progressive ms which will prevent the secondary relapse okay the options they have given baclofen prednisone tizanidin and the interferon beta 1b so which is which, which one is the drug of choice to prevent the relapse of the ms so all this the options are given that will be related to the multiple sclerosis only but the only one drug which will reduce the relapse so the correct answer is option d interferon beta 1 okay so remaining baclofen prednisolon and tizanidin everything will be used for the ms to treat the symptoms only but interferon beta 1b will prevent the relapse re occurrence of the disease okay so how can we give this interferon beta 1b through subcutaneous route uh, weekly thrice they will give to prevent the relapse of the ms clear yes the so answer is option d to which will prevent the relapse of the ms that is multiple sclerosis question number 2 which is the first drug approved to treat moderate alzheimer disease so very very important while reading the question you have to see the key point i'll tell the key point later so the question is which is the first drug approved to treat moderate alzheimer's disease options donabzel memantine galantamine rivastigmine so what is the correct answer the answer is memantine other name is namenda so what is the key point here there is a uh, levels are there in the alzheimer disease mild moderate and severe so remaining drugs other than memantine that is donabzel galantamine rivastigmine all these other options are used in the alzheimer disease but not in the moderate remaining and all treat for the milder form of the alzheimer disease the question is asking about the moderate so the only drug which is approved for the moderate type of alzheimer disease is memantine remaining options for the mild to moderate so that is the key point here that we should learn clear so here the answer is option b memantine for moderate alzheimer disease mm you can remember like this moderate memantine mm next question a patient experiences acute renal failure with severe nausea and vomiting this patient is most likely being treated with options they given prednisone bleomycin paclitaxel cisplatin read the question very carefully the question is asking not how to treat the patient with the acute renal failure and nausea and vomiting because of one medis medicine the patient is having renal symptoms along with the nausea and vomiting okay the side effect of the particular drug they are asking so that's why while reading the question is very very important the patient experiencing acute renal failure with severe nausea and vomiting this patient is most likely being treated with already treated so that is why already treated for some some other diagnosis okay so that leads to the acute renal failure and nausea and vomiting treated with that is very very important if the question is asking how will you treat so what is the drug of choice that is difference here the question is asking being treated with so already because of some other diagnosis we given some medicine that given the acute renal failure 
So the correct answer is cisplastin. cisplatin. What is cisplatin? It is a chemotherapy drug, right? It is used for the various types of cancer like uh, lung cancer, ovarian cancer, bladder cancer, testicular cancer. All this cancer we use the cisplatin. It's a chemotherapy drug, okay? So what is the main side effect of this cisplatin? It damages the kidney. So that is why the patient is having the acute renal failure. And the common side effect of the, all the chemotherapy drug is nausea and vomiting. Okay. So here the correct answer is cisplatin, not other options. I hope you understood. Right. Yes. Next question. Which of the following drug is a respiratory stimulant? The question is asking respiratory stimulant. Options, hydrocodone, atropine, aminophilin, doxoprom. Very easy. If you know some, uh, most of the drugs we are using in the day-to-day -day practical life in the bedside. Okay, so the correct answer is doxoprom. Doxoprom is a respiratory stimulant. It acts on the uh, respira uh, sorry, central nervous system to increase the respiratory rate and the depth. Okay, it is mainly used in the treatment of a respiratory depression. So what is hydrocodone? Other option, hydrocodone is an opiate analgesic. Atropine is an anticholinergic drug. Aminophilin is a bronchodilator. Clear? So now other options are not a respiratory stimulant. The doxoprom is an respiratory stimulant mainly used in the respiratory depression. It helps to the increase the respiratory rate and depth. Okay? Yes. Last Today's last question. Which of the following suppresses the cuff reflex in the brain? Very, very important. Cuff reflex in the brain. So that is asking which drug is acting in the CNS to reduce the cuff reflex. Like that, you have, you have to interchange. According to your knowledge, according to your understanding, you can frame the question, but relatively. Okay. So which drug will suppress the cuff reflex in the brain? Options they have given, theophylline, doxapram, Quifenesin, trimepressin. So the answer is trimepressin. It's a correct answer because it is an antitussive that act on the central nervous system. It blocks some uh, cough related um, chemicals in the brain like bradykinin. Okay. Uh, many, uh, many chemicals are responsible for the cough. Which one of the main uh, chemical is bradykinin. Okay. And some other acids also there. So everything is related to the cuff. So when the brain is stimulated, especially the cuff reflex is present in the middle oblongata. So these chemicals will be blocked by this trimepressin. So that is why it is acting on the central nervous system in the brain. So remaining theophylline, you all know, theophylline is a bronchodilator. Toxoprom, in previous question we have seen, it is a stimulant, respiratory stimulant. Gufinacin, it is a not a cuff, uh, it's a not a cuff suppressor, it is an expectorant. Okay, expectorant, it helps to bring out the secretion from the lungs. Okay, so, so that's why remaining options are wrong. Option D is the correct answer. Try my present. I hope this pharmacology session was helpful. Please study well. All the best. We'll see in day after tomorrow's class. Sorry, tomorrow's session. Thank you so much. I'm ending the session.